Today, the Big Three's Midwest swing continues in Milwaukee. In game one, the Aliens seek a victory and move up the standings against surging threes company, followed by the triplets riding the tails of Iso Joe against the three-headed monsters. And can Trilogy keep up its recent hot streak, or will the ball hogs prevail? Something's brewing as we close week seven with more high-flying action. Thumbs up, Vons. Big three is next. Spicer Forum in downtown Milwaukee as the Big Three rolls into the Cream City. And a lot riding on this one for both Three's Company and the Aliens on CBS Sports Network. And it kicks off our triple header, game two. It's the triplets led by league leading scorer Joe Johnson and it's the three headed monsters, followed by Trilogy and the Ball Hogs. Let's take a look at the big three standings. Three's company, they've won three in a row. Aliens in a fight to get to 500. And with that, we welcome you. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Avery Johnson. Well, the entire league is looking up. A lot of pressure in these final weeks. They're trying to crap the top four and get into the playoff bracket beginning here today in Milwaukee. Yes, Ed, thrilled to be here with you. Um, every week, the intensity significantly increases in the desire to win with all of the different playoff implications. A team that loses uh, four games uh, this year could possibly be eliminated from the playoffs, and um, that's the way the league is trending right now. So just fire it up, Ed. Let's fire it up with the State Farm rosters for this first game. Aliens led by Captain Andre Owens, Three's Company, co-captain Drew Gooden, former Milwaukee Buck, back here in the Brew City. But Avery, it's been Andre Emmett who's paced Three's Company in recent weeks. Andre Emmett has been red hot, unstoppable. Uh, he's been the center of attention for opposing defenses. And when he is, he's been making great decisions getting his teammates involved and just major range from the four point line. He's playing extremely well. He had 24 last week against the Killer Threes. These three, Area 51's finest for the Aliens, Rush, Owens, and Brown, Avery, when they go small, these three have been terrific together. Yeah, I visited with Coach Tiny Nate Archibald, the Aliens, before the game, and he needs major production from not LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosch, the Heat's version of the big three, but his version of the big three, these three guys, because when they go small, he thinks they can be really effective. Well, you mentioned him, Tiny Archibald, the Hall of Famer, and coach of the expansion aliens, former Milwaukee Buck, ended his NBA career here in Milwaukee, and some great duels with that man, Michael Cooper, the elite defender, five-time champion, with the Lakers, and boy, Three's Company has really picked it up defensively during their three-game win streak. Review of the key rules, first team to 50 wins will get to the break when one team scores 25. No game clock, the 14-second shot clock is the key in the big three. And they are revved up and ready to go here in Milwaukee. The Aliens, a chance for a 500 season right now, two and four. Ryan Hollins on their bench, Jason Maxfield, another key weapon for Three's Company, and they have been red hot, and they've been so good defensively, especially in recent weeks, Avery, after halftime. Yeah, whenever they can get their defense set, um, take care of the ball, because that allows you to get in great defensive position. Uh, they really tough to, tough to guard. There's your guy, Andre Emmett, first shot misses. Emmett, Max Seal, Drew Gooden to begin the game for Three's Company. Look to Max Seal, he bobbled, and the Aliens now get their first crack at it. It's funny, whenever I visit with uh, Max Seal, uh, he has like a tribe with him, not a family. It's, uh, it's about 18 folks, friends and family, that travel with him on the big three circuit. They travel well. <laughs> By the way, Rush hits the three to start the game for the Aliens. Last week, hit a four-point shot on the first possession as Gooden airballs the rim, and the Aliens reset. Here's Rush again, two for two from three. Oh, quick timeout, Avery. 
from Michael but, Cooper. Yeah, and that's what happens when you get three guys guarding two offensive players, somebody's open, and when you're Brandon Rush, you, you move, he moves well without the ball. And when you move well and find the open spot and you're as unselfish as Brown is, that, that leads to success. Uh, and, Brandon Rush delivers two three-pointers thus far and such a key piece as you talked about for what the aliens have done this year. Yeah, and Brandon Rush, you know, he started off the game last week as you alluded to with a four-point shot. You know, the key hasn't always been how he gets off in a game, but how he finishes games, especially offensively. Well, has that championship pedigree at Kansas and then with Golden State. Meanwhile, you ever call a timeout this quickly, a 6 nothing start? Oh, yes, I've called timeouts. <laughs> yeah, I've called timeouts in the first 30 seconds of a game. You've gone over a scouting report, and you've talked about it for three days in a row, and then you come out and have a breakdown defensively on, on what you've reviewed over and over and over again. I, I've called a timeout. I've been pretty animated doing those situations. No reason to bring them home, right? <laughs> Andre Emmett fouled, he capitalizes with the two-point shot. And Three's company is on the board. Greg Oden coming out of the timeout, posting up Jason Maxeal, and the foul's called on Maxeal. And it's typical for the aliens, they try to get Greg Oden established early on the box, because, you know, if you can get them some easy baskets early, maybe get some of the opposing big men in foul trouble, that bowls well for the aliens. Greg Oden coming off a 10.9 rebound game last week. A loss to Bivouac. Emmett sets it up for three. Andre Emmett nails it. And three's company, a 5-0 run coming out of that timeout. I'm Andre Emmett makes his home in Dallas. I know, I know exactly the gym where he works out. And the way he plays doing the big three, he plays all during the week. Oh, Odin, two chances. Here's Gooden, takes Shannon Brown off the dribble. No look. One to shoot, Emmett. Air ball, Odin with the slam. Didn't have to clear on the air ball. Now the officials confer that should be a counted basket yep. for the aliens. Great job by Greg just understanding the situation. Getting an offensive rebound, not bringing it back out. Drew Gooden off the mark. Rebound for Brandon Rush. Right to the spot for three. That's his third so far. Brandon Rush, he's playing with a certain intensity and look in his eyes because he understands the magnitude of the moment. We're in a desperate situation right now. Aliens are five of seven rush, three threes in Milwaukee. Great start for the Aliens in Milwaukee, leading Three's company by eight. We'll kick off every weekday morning with the most dynamic duo in sports radio as the boys bring you up to speed on all the action from the diamond to the gridiron with hot takes and top-notch analysis. Boomer and Geo, weekdays starting at 6 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. And Brandon Rush, a lot to talk about so far, Avery Johnson. He has been terrific. Three threes, aliens have opened this game, five of seven, and Brandon Rush with the third member of our team, Jenny Dell. All right, Brandon, you're playing with a certain kind of intensity out there right now. What's the vibe out on the court? Uh, I'm just getting open shots right now, and it's going down. Um, we just got to play, we got to play better on, on the offense and defense, and uh, we're going to close out this game. All right, after nine seasons in the NBA, this is your first time, first year in the Big Three. What makes this league so special? Uh, it's competitive. I mean, you're playing against good players that played long time in the NBA, and they out here to compete and uh, try to win games too. So it's very competitive and I'm enjoying it. Thank you very much. All right, it's gonna keep competing, guys. All right, Jenny, thanks. Well, it's led to big things so far, Avery, for the aliens who come in two and four. They have a chance for a 500 record this year. Yes, and we talked about it in the open. I don't think the aliens can afford to lose this game. Emmett, no, Max Seal, yes. And then with Brandon Russ, because of his success from behind the three-point line, It'll be interesting to see, um, you know, the space that Greg Oden gets in the post or whether it's going to open up driving lanes 
for Shannon Brown. Uh, Brown and the Aliens with the turnovers. So Three's company is going to take over. But this is a team last year, Three's company, lost the power in the championship game. Dante Jones, who's made two game winners so far, is going to come on for the first time for Jason Maxiel. Yeah, Coach Cooper's downsizing a little bit, trying to get a smaller, more versatile guy and an outstanding defensive player in Dante Jones to try to help out on Brandon Rush. Have yeah, a nice crossover, hits it off the bounce. He's currently playing in Puerto Rico, Andre Emmett. Brown for three. So for three's company, Dante Jones, Drew Gooden, Andre Emmett, Gooden short. And a push that time from behind. It's on Dante Jones. Andre Emmett has been a guy, you know, who obviously can score in the paint, but you know, the mid-range is, is not outdated in the big three. No. <laughs> Or go down to this guy. Odin against Gooden. A little leverage, maybe a step. Offensive board, and Odin fouled hard. Odin is playing with a tremendous amount of energy and physicality in the paint. I saw him walking into the arena, and normally he'll have, you know, some sort of story of, you know, travel situations that he'll talk about. He just said, hello, coach. <laughs> <laughs> a cool customer. And when we saw the list of players new to the league this year, obviously Jason Terry, Joe Johnson, Gilbert Arenas, Odin's name was so fun to see because you forget how great he was in college and how disappointing it was that he never really got that chance in the NBA. Yeah, but now he's getting a chance. Um, and I think he's taking advantage of it. Brandon Rush again. That's four threes. And look at the aliens out to an 18 to 9 advantage. Three's company come up with a different strategy to defend Brandon Rush at this rate. Blocked away by Odin. And saved by Brandon Rush. Rush another three. Odin came down, was doubled and fouled by Jones. Too much space here by Drew Gooden, especially on the guy that's, you know, hot from behind the three-point line. And Odin coming over to help on the weak side. 14-4 run for the Aliens. Brown over Jones. That's what I love about a guy like Dante Jones. He clearly understands who he's guarding. He's guarding Shannon Brown, who's more of a driver. He's baiting him into the mid-range shot, and he was successful. Aliens feeling good, Avery. They're 6 of 12. Rush to the basket. Too much. Never hit the rim. Emmett over Odin. The teardrop goes. Yeah, they changed their defensive strategy. We alluded to it a minute ago on, on Rush. Forced him to drive. Brown's going to have to make one of those shots unless he's going to continue to get that shot all night long. A loose ball. Another crack at it for Three's company. Down by seven. Jones flicks it out for Gooden, and Drew Gooden buries the three. If Gooden continues to have success from behind the three-point line, look for Coach Tiny Nate Archibald to get Owens in the game as soon as possible. Arms locked. Gooden fouls Greg Oden. So for Drew Gooden, that's his second foul. Remember, in the first half, and this is new this year to the big three, if a player picks up his third foul before halftime, he's got to sit the rest of the first half. So Gooden on the bench with two. Andre Owens back in for the Aliens with Rush and Odin. Look at the deep by Emmett, the steal. And Rush trying to get it back, he does. That's what I love about the big three. Loose balls are so valuable. Uh, not necessary, not because you be able to take the ball to the other end for a fast break, but because you are already near your basket. Since we're only playing at one basket, it can lead to a very easy score. Hammond last year, MVP candidate, one of the best defenders in the league. Leans in, just short against Brown. Uh, Brown looks like 
Yeah, it looked like Rush got hit below the belt, <laughs> which we know can be very painful. Yes. <laughs> now he's trying to shake it off. Odin hits the jumper to extend the lead, and I think Rush is going to be okay. Yeah, sometimes it takes three to five minutes to shake that off, Ed. We'll grimace a little bit more, too. <laughs> Odin's three of seven, by the way, and he blocks Max Seal. But Max Seal gets it back in a chance at three to get Three's company a little bit closer. That's what I love about uh, Max Seal. You know, just persevere. It's a great lesson for kids that are watching the big three and, and that are here in attendance. You know, when you're playing a game of basketball, whether it's on the AU level, the high school level, the collegiate level, professional level, just don't give up on the play, especially when you get your shot blocked. Hang in there. It's a great life lesson. Well, Greg Oden with his second block. But here comes Three's company. It's an 8-2 run, and they're back within three. You know, I always had to hang in there most nights on an NBA night, Ed, because I'm only 5'11", or at that time, 178 pounds. I was always uh, undersized and playing against all guys that were much taller and, and more, much stronger. Every little general needs an admiral to save the day at the rim, right? And I had an admiral. Boy, yes, you did. David Robinson. Now, along with Avery Johnson, Jenny Dell on the sidelines. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be with you from Milwaukee here on CBS Sports Network. After a thrilling day yesterday for the Big Three in Chicago at Allstate Arena, here's Emmett Hedfeg on Robert Baden, and Emmett banks it in. And Andre Emmett has kept Three's company alive now with 11 points. Yeah, we predicted that this game was going to go down to the wire and is living up to it. Tight game early on. Odin was doubled, late whistle. Three's company doesn't like it, but this is a foul that's going to give Odin a chance at a two-point shot. Look at the reaction from Three's company. You want to tell me they don't want to win, that this game doesn't matter? DeMar Johnson, the captain of Three's Company, on for the first time for Emmett. Drew Gooden's going to spell out Jason Maxiel as Michael Cooper looks for the right combination, especially against Greg Oden. Yeah, he's searching right now. He's just trying to wear the aliens down a little bit. He, he knows that this game is not going to be won now. Um, it's the first team to 50, not 25. Oden gets the friendly bounce. Odin averaging over nine per game so far in the big three. He's got nine right now. It's been a good start. Here he is. After Vaden. Robert Vaden. Jones down. Vaden calmly puts it in. And the Aliens one point from getting this to the break. That, that very well could have been an offensive foul. I thought <laughs> Dante Jones was in great position. Oh, Vaden will pick out the defensive foul here against Dante Jones. Jones joining Three's company mid-season. Ten points last week against the Killer Threes. He's been a really nice addition. Yeah. And Coach Archibar is going um, a little bit longer with Greg Oden here. Rip through, no, but Jones will get a two-point shot with Three's company down by five. Yeah, normally around this time, you'll see Ryan Hollins coming in to spell uh, Greg Oden, but obviously Coach Tiny Nate likes what he's seen from Odin on both ends of the floor. It's a couple of block shots. Get the jewelry all set. Baton's coming out, by the way. Picked up his third foul, so Brandon rushes in. And there's a specter you spoke about at the top, Avery, when you have Rush, Owens, and Brown together for the Aliens. That's a dangerous combination with the smaller lineup. Yes, it's just that uh, Brown hasn't played as well early in in the game, uh, missed a couple of rhythm mid-range shots, but we'll see how, how it changes uh, when he returns. Aliens can get it to the break with a bucket. Owens leads it a Slim Johnson shot out there. Odin the rebound, and we've Greg hit the break. Greg Odin with 12 first half points. And it's 26-21 Aliens at halftime. Relentless playing with ton of passion inside. Physical. Love what Gray Golden is doing. Aliens 
four of five from three in that first half. Rush with all four. Jenny Dell with Tiny Archibald. All right, what was that conversation over there you just had with the referee? That's an old NBA foul. Okay, they do it in, in, in the league, and, and since they put they, the, the veterans that played in the NBA, they know the trick. My man has his hand straight up, and they're going under the arm and getting the foul. All I'm saying is, see, see is if his hands are straight up, it shouldn't be a foul. Okay, but they're drawing the foul by going under somebody's arm. All right, thank you so much, Coach. Good luck in the second half. All right, thank you. A tiny Archibald squad, the Aliens. Big start in Milwaukee, a 26-21 advantage on Three's Company. You're watching the Big Three here on CBS Sports Network. A summertime in Milwaukee, the Art Museum, housing 25,000 pieces of art. Great look here in the Bruce City. Ed Cohen, Avery Johnson with you. What a start for the Aliens. That's customary, but Greg Oden really set the tone inside. Yeah, Gr Greg has been a force inside, but not only offensively, but defensively. You know, he has three blocks, but who would have thought Greg Oden would have outscored Andre Emmett 12 to 11 in the first half? He's just been amazing. Odin with 12, he wasn't the only alien that delivered because Brandon Rush set the tone for the outside with four threes. Yeah, he's been really feeling it. Uh, you know, carried over his success from last week into this week's game, and you just can't leave him open, especially giving him time to get his feet set. And once he's dribbling the basketball, you have to push up on him and force him to drive. Here are the first half numbers. Ailey in a really high percentage shot, 45%. Their bench, led by Odin, was terrific. How Three's Company respond? Jenny Dell with Michael Cooper. Three's Company has won three games in a row after an 0-3 start. What has been the difference maker for this team? Well, defense, and we've been able to run some offense and get some good shots. And you specifically have done well defensively in the second half. What do you need to shut down the aliens in the second half out here? Well, Rush is hitting the three, and then Greg got it going down low. But you know what? We're going to pretend like we're in the Boston Garden to get this done. We love the Boston Garden, don't we, Coach? All right, guys, back to you. All right, Jenny, well, he played some great series in the Boston Garden. Koopa Loop, the great Laker, especially on the defensive end. Yeah, he had some legendary matchups with, uh, you know, guys like Larry Bird. Um, who, who's a great big time trash talk about her way. Oh, high low, and Greg Oden cashes in on the assist from Andre Owens. In the last couple of weeks, uh, Three's company defense has significantly improved in the second half, and they're going to need to play better defense because right now the aliens are getting whatever they want. Oh, backdoor intercepted. Owens offloads, and Odin with the slam. This has been the best I've seen Greg Golden play this season in, in, in the big three. Four points to begin the half of the Aliens, a 10-2 run going back to the first. Backdoor again, and this time Jones from Gooden. That's one of the things that's underrated about playing in the big three. I know a lot of times, you know, you want to focus on maybe a four-point shot or a three-point shot or a drive, but also moving without the basketball. Ball movement, player movement. We know it's only a 14 second shot clock, but it's not just about isolation basketball. You can move without the ball. How about this start to the second half for both sides? Good and wide open. Go! So Rush Owens, Odin for the Aliens against Ooh. Emmett Jones and Gooden for Three's Company. Great defense by Andre Emmett. The Captain Owens, Rush, another three. Look at Odin, offensive board. Owens, opposite corner. And Emmett snatching the rebound. Emmett Avery scored 11 in the first half. Floater misses, gets it right back, and that's how you beat Greg Oden. That's how you beat him, offensive rebounding. Averaging over 16th per game this season, Andre Emmett, right around his total last year. Who's going to step up and be Robin? We, we understand that Andre Emmett is Batman, but who's the next guy that's going to provide some scoring for Three's company? Well, aliens right now with a lot of would-be superheroes. Another three, this time from Owens. And the lead is 10. Running floater, Emmett no. This time by Rush. 
Greg Oden didn't block that shot, but he contested it and made it tough for Three's company to score. Well, it's been all Emmett. Another basket gives him 15. I'm just so impressed with uh, Greg Oden's stamina. He's gotten better and better each week. On a switch, good and against Owens. Odin, tough collection. He gets it and is fouled, and he's going to shoot a two point shot. Smart decision by Andre Owens to get him the ball, but look at how Greg Golden is playing above the rim. His length, that athleticism inside, his teammates, you know, giving him, passing the ball on time, on target. This really builds the confidence of a big guy, whether his name is Greg Oden or guys that I've played with, Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, Tim Duncan. You know, you get those guys some easy basket. It, it just increases their confidence. Yes, misses at the line, but the footwork has gotten better and better this season from Oden. Yeah, maybe I mentioned the wrong guys yet because <laughs> those guys' confidence was high either way. <laughs> Uh, Dante Jones earns himself a trip to the line, but this guy, you forget how good he was, and obviously the injuries derailed any chances at a long career. Yeah, whenever you're in, injured, especially, you know, knee injuries, uh, can have an effect on your on your game, on, especially, especially if you're a defensive guy, and that's how you made your money. Well, he's got 16 right now. Season best was 18 back in week three against the Ball Hawks. Rush had the step on Emmett. Oden open, and the touch. 18 points for Greg Oden to extend the lead to eight. But sometime it's better to be lucky than be good, but Greg Oden said, Coach Avery, I'm lucky and good tonight. So impressed with, with his energy. And here we go, Greg. Right-handed jump hook, successful. Aliens with the lead on Three's Company here from Milwaukee, Avery Johnson. It has been the Greg Oden Show. It's, it's great when you see guys just take responsibility and, and play with energy. Everybody on the team have equal equity on a team, but, but, but sometimes just different responsibility. And Greg understands that he's responsible for playing inside, manning the paint, defending the paint, and also scoring in the paint. Really impressed with uh, Greg's performance tonight. 18 points, now he's seven of 11, but keep in mind he had three missed shots on one possession. Otherwise, he's been nearly perfect. Yeah, nearly perfect, and, and his teammates, are they're feeding off of his energy. Uh, Brandon Rush obviously been the threat from behind the three-point line, and Greg has been the man in the middle. Andre Emmett nails it, coming out of the stoppage for Three's Company. This and Aliens team has been so good before halftime throughout the year, but after the break, they've really struggled. So far, so good with a six-point cushion. And recently, uh, the Three's Company, they've been very good defensively in the second half. A tough shot going to his left. Shannon Brown, whose brother Sterling is now a member of the Milwaukee Bucks. And I was talking to Shannon last uh, two weeks ago, and he said, "I'm say, how are your brothers doing?" He said, "He's doing great." I said, "You know, in a one-on-one -on -one contest, he'll win." He was like, "Coach Avery, please <laughs> don't get the brothers riled up." <laughs> he said, I, "I'll beat him." I said, "I don't know about that, Shannon." <laughs> I'll tell you what, Andre Emmett has been the story for Three's Company. He's got 17 now. Shannon Brown, what can he do for you? Two-time yeah. NBA champion, back-to-back -back buckets. I love how guys maybe can struggle a little bit in the first half, and it's a tale of two halves. He didn't make, you know, any of those, you know, 14-foot shots in the first half, but playing with a lot of confidence in the second half. Oh, Emmett fouled. He'll get a two-point shot. Back to Shannon Brown coming off the bench for the Aliens. Shannon say what my brother can do, I can do it better. <laughs> oh, the touch over Dante Jones. 
around nine NBA seasons. Won the two titles, Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. Emmett, meanwhile, can't convert. He's closing in on 20 points. Rush, step back for two. Yes, Brandon Rush nails it. He's got 14 after making four threes early. Yeah, this is the Brandon Rush, Greg Oden show today. And they're putting on a show. Remember, first to 50 wins. 10-point aliens lead. Jones a crossover, attacking Odin, and Greg Odin with the foul. And from a scouting report standpoint, throughout his career, Brandon Rush supposedly has been a guy that, you know, is only a spot-up shooter. But look how he's you know, improved his game. He's become more versatile. Three-level player can score from behind the three or the four-point shot, mid-range. Rather four-level player and take the ball in the basket. Uh, poked out by Brown. Keep in mind, no one's taken a four-point shot yet, but Brown hit one last week to begin the game for the Aliens in their loss to Bivouac. Jones off the Max Seal screen. Euro step got by Odin, just missed the bucket. And out comes Rush wow. with it. He went, to, he went to Europe, but he didn't come back <laughs> here. <laughs> no finish on a great Euro step move. Inbound, yes. Outbound, <laughs> not so much. Four point shot. Air ball from Shannon Brown trying to beat the shot clock. What's your favorite place in Europe, Ed? Went to Barcelona last year. Five nights. That was fun. Wow. Yeah, I've been and to I Barcelona. made it back. And north of, or east of Barcelona, this place called Costa Brava. Wow. Incredible place. Have to take you up on that next time. Foot on the line, four point shot. Tamar Johnson, the captain, no. And now it's Rush, another one. From three for Brandon Rush, he dials in a fit time. The same way I made layups in, during my 16-year NBA career, that's a layup for Brandon Rush. Not a traditional layup, a three-point layup. He's making those shots with his eyes closed, basically. 9-2 Aliens run, the threes company answer from Max Seal. It'll be interesting now to see if Brandon Rush catches the ball around the four-point line and try to attempt the four-point shot. And he was, he was at the four-point line, but Shannon Brown missed him. He was wide open at the four-point line. I would have loved to have seen him attempt and make a four-point shot. Max Seal having none of it. No. DeMar Johnson out. Dante Jones back in after a quick breather. Remember, Odin, 18 points, nine rebounds. Rush, two-point shot. Max Seal trying to chase it down against Odin. The worst thing you can do, you know, with the aliens right now is take bad shots, take quality shots, and, and take care of the ball. Brown nails it, foot on the line, and now point game for the aliens up 48-35. They're in the driving seat now. They get a stop on defense. They can finish threes coming, or even if they get scored on, they'll have plenty of opportunities to finish them off. Emmett jumping kick. Remember, three to shoot. Emmett fall away, blocked. Inside for in. He's fouled. Now, the possession had changed. And let's see, was there a call? No, it's going to be a yep. shot clock violation shot clock. and Aliens ball. Yeah, good call by the refs. Point game. Shannon Brown pulls up over Max Seal. Rainmaker up to the skies and down. The Aliens win it in Milwaukee. Ball game. Shannon Brown said, I came to Milwaukee to shine. And boy, he's had an incredible second half. Baby bro, the older guy knows how to play too. Game winner. He made a fadeaway earlier near the left baseline and he makes another one at what we used to call the Michael Jordan angle on the court. Left side, Michael Jordan was dominant. Tiny Archibald's team closing the game on an 11 to two run. No second half issues. The Aliens, a great start and a great finish. Greg Oden is with Jenny Dell. Greg, it tied a season high there, 18 points, nine rebounds. What was working for you on the court? Uh, just being big. Um, we tried to 
you know, get the inside going first, and then we got the shooters going, and they finished the game off. The aliens have now won three of their last four games. Do you feel like you're finally feeling the rhythm? Uh, I'm mad we dropped that one last week, um, but we're still trying to get in the playoffs, so we're just trying to play hard, trying to have fun and enjoy ourselves. You recently went back to Ohio State and got your degree. You're interested in a career in coaching. How can Big Three and what you're doing now help you pursue that dream? I mean, this platform, getting to play basketball with some of the best older talent out there, you know, um, it's a lot of fun. I, I just really enjoy getting the opportunity to come out here and play again. When you first heard about this league and it's getting its start, what did you initially think? And what are you impressed with the talent level of all of your coworkers, really? Yes, I am. I mean, it's fun. Everybody's fighting hard. Everybody's playing hard. And then we're all cool we're all mature um it's just a great league i'm just happy to be a part of it i mean i wish i could have been a part of it the first two years well here you are and you did a great job out there congratulations on a great one thank you all right guys back to you all right jenny one of the best games for greg odin in the big three 18 points and a win for the aliens here against three's company all smiles here today in milwaukee one game down our triple header continues after this here on cbs sports network